run two by two off turn two. Elliott trying to inch forward. He needs more drafting help. The outside line has very... Oh, look out! Trouble further back. One car is up and over. Farrell rolling down the back straightaway. It is Ryan Priest. End over end. Side over side as the car breaks loose. And now we'll catch Flame in a horrific crash on the back straightaway. Flames are extinguished for the most part. Now reactivate under the hood. Ryan Priest. End over end. Side over side, basically turning pirouettes down the back stretch. Scary crash here at Daytona on the Daytona Super Stretch. Caution is out. Lap 155, six laps to go. Back to Mike Bagley. Safety crews have arrived on the scene to Ryan Priest, who got turned out of the back of the pack. He spun down to the inside of the racetrack, and when that car snapped around, it caught air and immediately went airborne. When it came down, it made hard impact and began to tumble end over end, side over side, turning gyrations in the air. Safety crews now on bended knee, talking to Ryan in the cockpit as other safety crews have arrived on the scene and his smoking, battered Ford Mustang. All right, Mike, we'll leave you out there to keep an eye on that fire once again around under the hood even as they attend to Ryan inside that race car fire has been extinguished but it will reignite from time to time we're under caution flag a vicious crash down the back straightaway here at Daytona with five laps uh, remaining Harvick out front but our focus right now on Ryan Priest out of his race car on his own two feet he's still Standing there, leaning up against the car, he is obviously winded after taking that wild ride, but the good news is he is out of the car, talking to safety officials and awaiting the arrival, or awaiting the ride, that is, to the infield care center. A vicious crash for Ryan Priest, again, out of the race car, will go to the infield care center, but out of the race car under his own power. From Daytona International Speedway, this is the Motor Racing Network, the voice of NASCAR. Eleven and a half flips. Eleven and a half times Ryan Priest went side over side and he climbed out of the car. We'll give you an update on him in a minute. Just a quick reminder, uh, we are working under the caution flag. Laps are ticking away. We're down to 40, uh, four to go. Four to go here at Daytona. For more on Ryan, let's go to uh, his pit area. Steve Post is there. Uh, absolutely, and uh, unfortunately for Briscoe, too much damage on the car. They're determining whether they want to bring a wrecker truck down or if he can back it down pit road. So Chase Briscoe involved in that crash back there. Damage on the right front, and they have tore the right front right off that car. He will not be able to continue on after a really, really strong run here tonight at Daytona. All right, bud. Appreciate it. Steve Post is down there. Mike Bagley is on the back straightaway. Let's get the latest from Mike. Uh, safety vehicles surrounding the area at the end of the back straightaway. Mike? Uh, yeah, again, Ryan Priest got out of the car under his own power. Safety crews encased the car, and they brought uh, a gurney over. And he walked over to the gurney, laid down. They have put him in the back of the ambulance. And as I speak, he is leaving the accident scene in the ambulance, headed to the care center. And right now, the task at hand is they can't put the car on a wrecker. They have to put it on a rollback. Virtually every part of that race car has some sort of damage or another. That's the task at hand. But the most important news is that Ryan was alert and awake got out of the car under his own power, but is headed to the care center for further observation. Uh, Rusty Wallace, uh, unfortunately, you know a thing or two about wild flips on, on super speedways. You had a crash very similar to what we just witnessed with Ryan Priest. Yours came at Talladega. Yeah, mine was at Talladega, pretty similar to that. Uh, air caught the right side of the car, got underneath it, got it, got it airborne, and started flipping end over end. Uh, as we were coming to, to the start-finish line to end the race in Talladega, but uh, it was a bad wreck, no doubt about that. But NASCAR's made a lot of improvements on the cars. This car, to me, looks like it got hit so hard in the side when it and uh, Ryan, uh, Chase Briscoe got together that it almost pole vaulted this car up in the air and, and upside down. 
I, I did see that the roof flaps came up to try to keep the car on the ground, but at that particular point, there was no hope because the car got hit so hard in the side before the, the roof flaps could really do anything. But at this time, man, I'll tell you, well, when I had my bad wreck, I just, I just took my head and I pulled it way down. I got kind of got as small as I could in the car. And it was just tearing the living crap out of everything. You know, the windows were flying out. The body flew off of it. And you're just really hunkered down. And you try to make yourself as small as you possibly can so nothing hits you in the helmet. And you hold on for dear life to the, to the steering wheel so your hand won't go flying around the side of the car. And I noticed her window net broke in that car. So he didn't have anything to hold his hands in. So thank gosh he was able to hold on to the wheel and keep himself small inside the car. And it looks like he's probably going to be okay. The highs and lows of NASCAR racing on display here tonight.